Hey everybody, it is Mr. Webb, and today we're going to talk about something in Illinois that is an invasive species. Armadillos. They are not native to Illinois. They originally came from Central and South America, but their name comes from a Spanish word that means little armored ones. Uh, the ones we have in the United States are the nine banded armadillo. You can tell that by the joints they have down in their shell. So the nine banded armadillo, how did it get here? There are 20 different species of armadillos. The one that made it to the United States, scientists aren't sure how it got here. Originally in the early 1800s, they didn't find them on this side of the Rio Grande. And then in the 1850s, they started moving north. And in 1920s, people started noticing them in states like Louisiana and Arkansas. And they just gradually made their way north. And the first one wasn't documented in Illinois until 1979. And now even today, they have been seen all the way up in Cook County, which is up by Chicago. Some people say, well, how did they get across creeks or rivers or water they're actually good swimmers they can hold their breath up to six minutes and they can walk really good underneath the water i don't know if they use their claws i'm not sure but they like to live in areas that have water you may not see them during the day a lot because they're nocturnal they sleep nearly 16 hours a day but they dig burrows and they live under the ground and they sleep most of the time during the day what do they eat they do eat small vertebrae so they're omnivores but they mostly eat bugs like ants and beetles and different things. They are related to ant eaters and they have a really small mouth so they can actually stick their tongue into little holes and eat ants and they just kind of walk around like a pig just all over the place. They say they make kind of like a grunting noise and they walk around with their nose to the ground and just look for insects and just kind of forage. Even though the numbers are growing, they do have predators. Sometimes uh, hawks and a lot of times coyotes, bobcats, and foxes, or maybe even dogs, eat armadillos. In the past, people have even eaten armadillos even though they carry diseases. They called them Hoover's hogs because of President Hoover's failure to keep food on the family's tables during the Great Depression. So in the 1920s, they ate them, but I would not recommend it. Why would I not recommend it? Because they carry disease called leprosy. You can get the disease from the armadillos by a scratch or picking them up. Uh, they actually carry two diseases. They, I'm not sure how to say this one. is Chagas disease and Hans's disease, which is known as leprosy. Researchers in Illinois have been testing armadillos that they found on the road dead. And out of 75 that they tested in Southern Illinois recently, none of them carried the disease, but that doesn't mean there isn't any here that have it. So be on the lookout and don't pick them up. Speaking of on the road dead, in Texas, they call them hillbilly speed bumps because so many of them are found dead on the road. Why are they dead on the road? Well, one, they don't have very good eyesight, so they mainly rely off smell, but when they get scared, they can jump up to four feet in the air. I know they look like they're slow, but when they get scared, they jump straight up, so when a car's coming, they might jump straight up and then they get run over instead of running away. They can run, even though they look slow, they can run up to 30 miles per hour. So don't let them pull you. They're fast and they can jump. Armadillos are solitary animals. That means they like to stay by their self. So they generally go to areas to where there are no other armadillos close by. Even though the mom has babies, the babies at one year old will go to their own area. And after their year old, they're an adult and they can breed. So they, they don't stick around where mom's at. A cool fact about them having babies the nine-banded armadillo almost always has four babies. So every time they have babies, they have four babies and they're all identical quadruplets. And they all come from one fertile egg. So one egg produces four identical babies. It's almost like it's cloning itself four times and then it spreads out. It's kind of weird. A cool website to find more information about armadillos in Illinois is OutdoorWildlifeIllinois.org, as you can see on the screen below. So go to that website, they're still doing studies in Southern Illinois trying to figure out what the impact the population would be on our area. They're not really sure if it's negative or what kind of impact it has, but they do carry diseases, so it can't be much of a good impact. But 
the more and more you see, that means their population is growing. I didn't see the first armadillo in Illinois until I was 19 years old. And now I see them almost every day while I'm driving. So the population is growing. Stay tuned for next week's animal. It is going to be hummingbirds. I will see you next time.